in addition to carrying tools for scientific research. The Voyager spacecrafts, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, have traveled farther into space than any other human-made object in history for many years. They have also left behind a symbolic gold record that is inscribed with Earth's history. These twin probes, which were launched in 1977, have provided amazing new insights into our solar system and beyond. However, a recent development has caught the public's and scientific community's attention. According to renowned theoretical physicist Michioku, artificial intelligence has just created an image by analyzing recent Voyager data, a picture that seems to depict the source of data that no known celestial phenomenon can account for. This image, which was created digitally through research driven by artificial intelligence, suggests a potential source, something intelligent, behind broadcasts that were previously thought to be noise or abnormalities. For further updates, use the like and subscribe buttons before we begin. Michioku made the news at a press conference that resembled a historic turning point rather than a scientific report. The weight of the finding was communicated by his tone, which was serene yet tinged with interest. The AI systems employed were highly specialized neural networks trained for multidimensional data translation, deep pattern recognition, and signal anomaly detection rather than standard machine learning models. In the vast solitude of interstellar space, these systems sorted through decades of cosmic background radiation, pulsar echoes, gravitational wave remnants, and deep space frequency patterns. Something was discovered by the AI a recurring signal that was inconsistent with astrophysical natural sources. It wasn't only a repetition, which is more significant. It had a structure. There was a signature on it. Additionally, it appeared as a visual coordinate, an origin point in space, and a source with what appeared to be ordered spatial intent when it was put through the AI's picture synthesizing engine rather than as a waveform. The image itself which was created by combining probability matrix visualization with data-enhanced spatial filtering, revealed a cluster toward the constellation Ophiuchus. This area of space has long captivated astronomers because of its distinctive gravitational lensing processes. Not only did the data indicate a region with peculiar cosmic behavior, but the AI also detected a symmetrical pattern of signals within that region, which shocked the scientific team. These were not pings from the leftover chaos of cosmic explosions or from gas clouds. They mimicked the language rhythm of human conversation in terms of timing, modulation, and, most puzzlingly, variation. According to Kaku, the AI was trained to find structures that might be associated with what could be regarded as the characteristics of intentional design. In addition to searching for patterns in the traditional sense, it was independent of linguistic and mathematical preconceptions. Instead, it was constructed to create contrast in areas where chaos would typically reign and nature tends to merge. And the AI was able to extract the coordinates and visual mapping of a spatial site that appeared to be releasing the enigmatic transmissions because of this disparity, this imbalance against the natural flow of entropy. It was equally eerie to observe the created image in its raw form. Even though the implications are astounding, it didn't show an alien or spaceship. It was not the face of an intellect from space. A lattice of light pulses transformed into a spatial arrangement that resembled a node. A nexus point inside an electromagnetic potential field was far more delicate. It appeared as though the picture depicted where and presumably how the data was being sent. Rather than who was sending it, the pattern implied a localized control of the quantum field, a kind of hub that appeared to be able to transmit data over what could be extra-dimensional channels. It was all the more unbelievable that this was deduced from the leftover signal data collected by Voyager. Now in interstellar space, Kaku stressed the value of skepticism while pointing out that the data's statistical departure from randomness was so large that there was an infinite decimal chance that was noise. The AI was impartial in its search for intelligence. Its structure was intended to completely eradicate confirmation bias. Therefore, what it discovered was not a delusion brought on by algorithmic overreach. It was a mathematically consistent discovery. He compared it to discovering a tree in a desert, where no living thing should be able to flourish. The biological oddity was disclosed by the soil patterns, temperature changes, and satellite imaging, not because one intended to uncover it, when all natural explanations are eliminated. 
The only logical conclusion is that there is something strange, or at least unknown there. The age-old question of whether we are alone in the universe is given new life by this discovery. The Drake Equation's probability and the FMY conundrum have served as the foundation for the cautious scientific approach to SETI, or the hunt for alien intelligence, for many years. However, Michioku's declaration signifies a seismic change in that equation. In this case, we are discussing a possible indication of technical intelligence that might be actively communicating or at the very least broadcasting its existence through channels that we are only now starting to comprehend rather than the possibility of life. The ramifications are both philosophical and technological. We are not only utilizing machines to evaluate data if an AI is able to interpret the interstellar media in a way that creates an image of an intelligence-bearing source. Through artificial cognition, we are extending the range of human senses. This finding raises the possibility that some intelligences may communicate through fields and modulations that are only perceptible to non-biological processing rather than through language or pictures as we currently understand them. Our restricted senses have prevented us from hearing the universe's messages, which could indicate that it is significantly more communicative than we previously thought. The understanding that this image wasn't created only by fresh data is another. It came from legacy streams that had spent decades in storage aboard Voyager. Yesterday, these messages were not intercepted. All this time, they have been dormant within us. Until recently, there were simply no instruments to interpret them. This poses interesting queries. How much more data has been concealed in plain view, encoded in the language of space, and just waiting to be deciphered by the appropriate interpreter? How long may it take us to comprehend its meaning if we're only now developing the ability to read it? The announcement also reinterprets the interstellar probe's mission. They are no longer only devices dispatched to observe the cosmos on our behalf. They are possible communication nodes presently. They might act as go-betweens, acting as relays in an enormous, unknown network of cosmic signals in addition to gathering data. Perhaps Voyager 1 and 2 are no longer just travelers if they are getting structured emissions from an intelligent source in the distance. Even though we are just now starting to overhear the talk, they have joined it. It is impossible to overlook the wider cosmological ramifications. The source of the signal, which is close to Ocus, is in an area that is full of gravitational anomalies. Long-standing conjectures have suggested that this area may contain hidden masses, including dark matter conglomerates, or serve as the center of anomalous energy arrangements. Theories about exotic energy structures and higher dimensional manipulation gain further support from the possibility that an advanced intelligence could be using these gravitational characteristics to channel or enhance communication. The possibility that this intellect might not be situated in the same dimensional framework as humans is also raised. Maybe what we are seeing is a technology, a system so sophisticated that it functions as a living thing, cognizant in ways we are still unable to imagine. AI generated an image that was more than simply coordinates. It contained varying bandwidths, phase changes, and timestamps. All this suggests a mechanism that will be found when a civilization is able to notice it. It fits oddly well with the idea of a beacon, a system that is purposefully designed to draw attention to itself without overtly interfering, waiting for another awareness to advance far enough to detect its pulse. A cosmic lighthouse is sending out signals in the dark. If this is accurate, what Voyager discovered might not be a message in the traditional sense, but rather a test that humanity recently passed. Such a realization has a significant emotional and psychological component. Humanity has craved contact for decades. This desire has fueled our ideas, science fiction, and even our technological aspirations. It is both humbling and profoundly lyrical to consider that we might have discovered that communication through the silent, persistent decoding by artificial intelligence rather than through great messages or flying saucers. The universe seems to have waited to speak to us until we developed a mind apart from our own. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you enjoy it. Additionally, please share your thoughts about the Voyager Sender Identification AI graphic in the comments section below. Do you have any predictions? We would want to speak with you. I appreciate you viewing, and I hope to see you again soon.